Whatever. All right. Um, so, uh, we got another one from In Living Color. In Living Color? Yeah. What we got? This is Great Moments in Black History. Ah. Great from In Living Color to shine some light on this. Yeah. Yeah. All right, let's see what I got. On July 20th, 1969, Apollo astronauts Neil Armstrong, Buzz Aldrin, Michael Collins, and Slick Johnson orbited the moon. Collins remained in the command module, and Armstrong, Aldrin, and Johnson landed the small lunar module on the moon's surface. While the men were exploring the area, Armstrong received word from mission control that a system malfunction had left them with only enough fuel to take three of the four pioneers safely back to Earth. After conferring with Collins and Aldrin, Armstrong sent Johnson out to find a nice spot to play volleyball. Minutes later, the landing module took off, leaving Slick behind. Hey, come on, y'all stop playing, man. Hey, yo, that's not funny. That's not funny, man. Come back here. The mission was an otherwise perfect success, and an embarrassed NASA deleted all references to Johnson from its official literature. Tonight, we salute Slick Johnson, the first black man on the moon. I'm Tommy Davidson with another great moment in black history. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> uh. Black innovators have often failed to get the credit due them for their brilliant work in the business world. In 1975, entrepreneur Kelvin Thompson was employed at a gas station in Detroit. He was working one sunny afternoon when a customer drove up in a big blue sedan. Hey, buddy, can I get a little gas over here? Thompson had a moment of inspiration and said to the customer, Get it, you damn self. <laughs> so today we salute Kelvin Thompson, inventor of the self-service gas station. <laughs> the fuck? God damn. I'm David Allen Greer, and this has been another great moment in black history. <laughs> For years now, black entrepreneurs have greatly contributed to the success of big business in this country without receiving full credit for some of their groundbreaking innovations. In July of 1979, Jerome Johnson worked for Zach's Auto. While performing some routine maintenance, he made a trend-setting discovery. Hey, Jerome, man, now look, be careful, man. Look, I tried to get that nut off that oil pan earlier, but it was just on too tight. Hey, look, man, I know what I'm doing. I've been doing oil changes since I was 13. See, all I got to do is get a good grip on this. Second, Jerome, man. Yo, take a look in the mirror. Uh. <laughs> it looks all the way alive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it was at that moment that Jerome realized he had discovered a new hairstyle. Y'all have a good time now. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> 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 so today we salute Jerome Johnson, inventor of the Jill uh, I'm Tommy Davidson, shit. and this has been another great moment in black history. innovators have often failed to get the credit they deserve for their brilliant work in creating the society we live in today. In July of 1923, Homer Mix, Hope for short, sure, while enjoying himself at a local dance, made a trend-setting discovery. You clumsy ox! Hey, I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> It was at that moment that Homer realized he was on to something. Uh. 
Inventor of scratching. I'm David Allen Greer, and this has been a great moment in Black <laughs> History. <laughs> 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 you see that with me in Nineteen twenty, twenty-nine. They want to scratch your shit at twenty-nine. <laughs> Most people today still fail to realize the immense contributions made by African Americans to popular culture and the unique forms of entertainment they invented. On this day, July 15, 1900, Christmas Lawrence was hosting the annual Harlem Society Ball. Hello, Christmas. What's up? <laughs> Would you please help me finish hanging the banner? I'll do anything for my lady. Thank you. <laughs> you look very nice. Thank you. So, uh, how the party, you know, how's uh, it going? You very know? nice gathering, Christmas. That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, damn, damn. Oh, damn. <laughs> damn. Oh, Gina, oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this like a <laughs> man. <laughs> oh, I'm a bigger than <laughs> Betsy Ross's <laughs> <laughs> Don't you call me bitch, you little <laughs> Gina Smith. Your ears are so big, he can hear an ant <laughs> fart. <laughs> At that moment, Christmas invented the first deaf comedy jam, and his companion became <laughs> the Apollo Lady. What's so tough? And that girl, damn. Her hair is so fake, it's like a, a skunk just crawled up on your head with the sweet. <laughs> And the first deaf comedy jam was born. I'm David Allen Greer, and this has been another great yes. moment in Black History. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's a <laughs> I think the close, the one that might be true, is the uh, the Jerry Curl one. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably how somebody. What the fuck is this in my hair? Oh uh, yeah, I can see something like that. Yeah, nah. Uh, yeah, maybe somebody scratched it, but not 1920. You know what I'm saying? Scratch the CD, the 19 over on the. In the 1920s. <laughs> yeah, there weren't even eight tracks back. Hell no! Nah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like there weren't even. There weren't. T when the TVs come out? No TVs. Yeah, there weren't no TVs or like that. Uh, Scratch uh. <laughs> Nigga, that came like it. I'm thinking like the '80s. I'm yeah. thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking earlier than that. <laughs> well, it could have been 1920 for record players. There may have been record players back then. Oh yeah, it was probably record players. Yeah, for sure. But them holes was thick. But I don't think you could scratch them. <laughs> Most probably humongous. <laughs> yeah. The, the, all of that shit was incorrect. <laughs> you know, they left him on the moon, told him to go get something. <laughs> and then Slick Johnson. <laughs> ah, that's fucked up. <laughs> Slick Johnson. <laughs> black astronaut. Uh, uh, nigga, there's about to be a black astronaut actually going to the moon. Ah, awesome. They all tried right. to do a, a test run on Artemis 1, I think, like last week. But okay. That shit failed. Oh, the launch failed? Well, they had to cancel the launch. Ah, okay. of some, some Aliens. Aliens, what? No. All right. Aliens, man, yeah. It's supposed to be why we haven't gone back. Well, I mean, it's probably Since. a lot of reasons why we haven't gone back. Yeah. Might have never even went. <clears throat> this might be the first mm. time we're going. <laughs> They're gonna send a nigga. That wouldn't make a us test. The first. <laughs> They're gonna send a nigga up there for the test. That's for the test run. <laughs> You'd be the first. <laughs> yeah. They're first gonna be a white man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We got 
got black and Asian and Indian dude. Let's send, uh, <laughs> let's send Jerome down there first. <laughs> let, let him scout the place out. <laughs> oh, man. I'd do it, though. If them niggas ask me, yo, do you want to go to the moon? I'd go. I'd be the astronaut to go to the moon. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think I'd want to go to the moon, too, man. But anything further than that? I'd go to Mars. Oh, yeah, you go to Mars? They had a sound plan and a comfortable uh, spaceship that I could walk around on and have lunch and, and work out on <laughs> and watch TV. Because <laughs> it's going to be months long. They're going to have to be comfortable. I need a my own apartment in that bitch. <laughs> yeah, by the time, yeah, by the time I imagine you step on Mars, you'll be able to do all that. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah. You see them, uh, you see them, uh, the new moon shoes that Elon Musk about to put out? Moon shoes? Yeah. That make you jump higher or something? Nah, I think they're like for like, uh, the moon? I don't think they're for the moon, nah, they just, they're like metal shoes, like metal with rubber sole. They look kind of weird. Like, I wouldn't rock them. They weren't anything I would rock, but definitely look like somebody on the moon would probably be wearing the motherfuckers. They had some advantages, like if they made me jump higher or fly, or yeah. <laughs> so I wear them old. Now them motherfuckers, they look like metal heavy boxes. Like they didn't look like anything that. <laughs> yeah, I don't wear them <laughs> heavy shoes. <laughs> shoes, fifty pound shoes and shit. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, man. Definitely make one of these days, man. Be able to go to the moon on like a charter trip. Yeah. Come on back. We won't be alive. Now you can go to outer space. You know what I'm saying? I heard about that. That costs and millions. Like, yeah, you know. Not no everyday person vacation. Ooh, about 150 years, maybe. 